basically, in summary, the pointing to another wrong fallacy would be, oh, just because we haven't done something about one wrong doesn't mean uh, m means that we shouldn't do anything about this wrong. When in fact, um, both wrongs should be equally dealt with, and just because one hasn't been dealt with doesn't necessarily mean that the other shouldn't be dealt with. Okay, moving on to the list of the 35 critical thinking fallacies I was given in my Introduction to Critical Thinking class. Number one, false dilemma. Two choices are given when in fact there are three or more options. So um, basically, uh, I'll give examples of these all at the ending. Um, number two, appeal to ignorance. Because uh, something is not known to be true, it's assumed to be false. Uh, uh, the opposite is true. Um, basically, the absence of evidence does not equal evidence of a um, absence. Um, slippery slope. Uh, a series of increasingly upset, uh, unacceptable consequences is described. Um, the idea that just because, like, oh, if we allow religion, then all of a sudden everybody's going to start, uh, uh, you know, um, anyway, I'll cover that in the next video as an example.